so why use a nozzle at all? And there's a couple of reasons for this. One simply is that uh, wrapping a propeller in a nozzle provides a certain amount of, of um, management of the inflow, that it can soften the, the peaks of the wake field distribution and, and make it more uniform and more friendly for the propeller. So variations as a propeller blade rotates around its 360 degrees um, is more uniform, and so the propeller can be more efficient. And also, because of the kind of mechanical gate or fence that you have at the tip, you can actually use blade profiles that allow for a wider tip, um, a wider cord length at the tip. Now, at the outer radii, for the same RPM, of course, the, the foil sections that make up a, a propeller blade are moving much more quickly. So they're doing more work, and by having the ability of using this wide tip, we can actually make the propeller more effective in its job. Well, all of that is pretty obvious. So what I really want to focus on, on here is this second bullet item, how a nozzle can actually create useful thrust as a non-moving part. And we're going to touch on a couple pieces of that that, that I, I hope will, will make you kind of raise your eyebrows and, and uh, sort of illuminate some things you may not have understood before. We also want to distinguish between what is a thrust-making nozzle versus a, a protective shroud. Now, protective shrouds are absolutely necessary for the business plan of a lot of propulsors. We have to protect the rotating metal blades from people sticking their fingers into them or, or, or logs or things like that. So, um, but that's a design case where we want to do the least bad. This is a case that we want to do the greatest good.